So I've got some parts that I ordered to try to make an improvement. So I was out trying to see how this thing would do pulling stuff with the loader, pulling some small trees. Well, it wasn't working how I wanted it to. Well, I'll just show you. I don't know if you can see where that has a little bit of a, a bow in it right here. I had a chain wrapped around the bucket trying to pull those trees out so went and bought something and we got a box so I did spend some time looking on the internet trying to find sort of what I was looking for and there's all different kinds of options out there different manufacturers as far as these bolt-on hooks but I actually went with bolt-on hooks that's the name of it and here's what we have and I also got the half inch clevis or shackle whatever you want to call it hook also to go as a backer or a backing plate and that'll give me a, another place to pull from also so I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff opened up and get it up here and try to get these things mounted so I've got this one positioned where I want it I went ahead and put a clamp on it measuring from here over to here the edge of the bucket eight and three-quarter inches and it's sort of hard with this rounded part here to measure I probably should have had a square but I just took it until it touched the back of the bucket and lined up with two inches from the back of the bucket to the edge of the plate I think that's going to be pretty good now it does come with a full list of directions and what all tools are needed to do this and a picture so since I got it positioned where I want it, I'm going to take a half inch drill bit to give me a center mark. Then I have a smaller bit to run for a pilot. Fancy dancy step bits or unit bit. Voila! Now it does come with the hardware that you need to fasten these things on here also. You can get these without these plates. You can get just a, a, a flat backing plate if you don't want this. 
flat washer on top, flat washer on bottom with a nylon nut. Need two three-quarter inch tools, whether it's a two wrenches, socket, ratchet, and a wrench, impact, which I don't have up here. Now, as far as where you mount these and your bucket is sort of up to you it does recommend to put them in line with the cylinders so that's what i'm doing on this side gonna make it the exact same on the opposite side i have seen some where they put a hook in the center but you can't pick as much weight with it because it will bend as you can see i already did over on my bucket so i'll get this other one installed So real time it takes to put these things on, 15 minutes. And to be real, I should probably use a torque wrench to torque the bolts and yeah, yeah, they're tight. Um, so that's what it looks like with them installed. Now you know what, we gotta go try it out can't put something on and not go try it out back I don't know five years ago my grandpa talked about pulling these trees out we never got around to it so we're gonna try it I don't know what these are maybe somebody can tell me sort of step back for you to try to get a look at it I don't know they uh, have these thorns on them I don't know grandpa always wanted to get rid of them so that's what we're gonna do or try mm -hmm. so I'm not an expert rigger and I mean I have a little bit of rigging experience but I do want to explain something as far as rigging goes if I'm wrong feel free to let me know in the comments I'm like I said I'm not an expert on it so I've got sort of a long, um, I guess you want to call it a Y shape with that chain. And the reason I've done that is because if I can get a straighter pull from there down, I put less load on everything or less strain, I guess would be the, it's supposed to be better. Whereas if I was to bring this from here and hook it over to here and back up the other one, then it's, it's wanting to pull more sideways on the chain instead of lengthwise on the chain. Maybe that makes sense. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I just have a little bit of experience. So I'm going to get this hooked up and we're going to see what happens. I do know that if you wrap a chain around one side of the bucket and you curl the bucket, it will pick up the back end with the box plate on it and the rear tire is loaded. Well, somebody forgot to hit record. <laughs> well, I got a different set of trees to try to pull. And I'll be sure to hit record this time. So something that I'm seeing is there's not enough, I guess you want to say, butt in the loader or the cylinders for the bucket. There's not enough to actually pull these things 
straight out of the ground. If I remember correctly, this is the same loader that's on the 35 and the 43D. So it should do the same. But throw it in four wheel drive. Once you get it pulled up some, seems like it pulls right out. We'll see what it does since uh, somebody has some technical difficulties. thoughts about these hooks should have bought them a long time ago they work really good I did when I was trying to back up and try to pull some of them out or at least one of the bigger ones it did want to pick up the back of the tractor as far as the tractor itself with it in four-wheel drive so I tried going forward with it and that works great of course a whole lot better in reverse does but as far as the hooks themselves, they seem to be okay. I think I'm gonna look at my set of pellet forks, see if I can find a place to try to mount them on that carriage. These are Ken's bolt-on hooks. He does have a YouTube video on how to install them. He does a, a better video than what I did. Now, I know there's other people that make them and you know i think i've seen some on amazon or ebay or whatever i don't know maybe they're just as good you guys have probably heard me talk about these wheel spacers especially if you've been following well i finally broke down and bought some and i don't know what i'm going to think about them they still haven't arrived they're not going to get here for another dang month i guess i i don't know i guess you can't get nothing right now but I bought some wheel spacers once they come in I'll be getting a video of that putting them on installing them and that'll help this back here on this three-point with those turnbuckles thanks for watching you guys have a good one until next time Ken's bolt-on hooks they didn't sponsor this video just so you know it was all me but <laughs>